Hello, this is the first in a series of videos on the Olympus Air camera. Uh, today we'll be focusing on just an overview of the camera uh, and connecting it to your smartphone to take pictures. So let's get to it. Hi, I'm Bill Booz and this is the Photography Learning Center. Today I'd like to show you a new concept camera from Olympus, the uh, Olympus Air AO1. I refer to this camera as a uh, new concept camera because like the Sony QX series cameras, it looks a lot like a lens. So here's a lens and this is the Q a a AO1. It doesn't look like a camera. However, inside this small package are many of the features found inside Olympus's OMD EM10. For example, there are things such as a 16 megapixel micro four thirds sensor and the TruePix 7 image processor. 81 point uh, focusing and the ability to use any of the many Olympus and Panasonic micro four thirds lenses makes this little guy a gem for creativity. I'm doing these video series on the year because when I was considering ordering, a ordering one back in July, I couldn't find any recent videos about the Air in English. Uh, the Air was first released in March of 2015 in Japan, but it wasn't available here in North America until late July. It's still not available to our friends in the UK, Europe, Australia, and many other countries. So the Olympus Air like the Sony QX cameras before it, relies on the use of a mobile smartphone or a tablet to control and to serve as it, to, con to control it and to serve as its viewfinder. So first, how exactly does the Olympus Air work? When you receive this camera, you need to charge the internal battery with a supplied micro USB cable. The associated free app, OA Central, will then step you through the initial setup of your new Air. But I'll go through that uh, in my next video. Today I just want to show you what this little guy can do. Uh, I'm demonstrating the Air using my iPhone 6, but it will also work with iPads, Androids, devi Android devices, and, and the iPhone 6 Plus. And of course, using this large built-in shutter button on top, you can shoot blind in standalone mode. I say blind because you can't see what you are capturing until you review the images afterwards or later on. Before we look at using this unique camera, let me show you two things. First, it comes with a wrist strap, which I highly recommend that you attach. Um, and it, you attach it to a, a strap loop on the camera's coupler at the back. In addition, I've added another strap to the removable coupler in order to make sure it always stays with the camera. For this, I'm using a strap that is meant to hold a, a lens cap. I have to give Edna Kunkel in our Air Facebook group credit for that tip. Now let's put this little camera to work. We'll use the iPhone 6, but first I'm going to mount the camera and lens on a small tabletop tripod. I have several of these, but today I'm going to use my mini-sized Joby Gorillapod. Now, pull down the coupler smartphone holder like this. The holder can be set to small or large, so for my iPhone 6 I set it to large. Next we need to turn on the camera by pressing the power button right here. This causes the camera to send out both a Wi-Fi and a Bluetooth signal to make a connection with your smart device. Once I see that my iPhone is connected to the camera, I launch the Olympus OA Central app, which serves as my controller and viewfinder for the camera. This is, as I said, a free app for iOS and Android and provides several shooting modes, as well as allowing the viewing of the images on the camera. For now, I'm just going to focus on the mode dial. When I tap the mode dial icon, the app displays a screen showing me what the air is seeing through the attached lens. That is, the smartphone screen is now actually my, my camera viewfinder. On this screen, I can choose the various shooting modes available in the air. There's iAuto, 
and the standard PASM uh, modes for program, aperture priority, shutter priority, and manual, plus a video mode. We'll take a look at those modes in my future videos in this series. But today I'm simply going to put it into iAuto and show you different ways to use the air with a smartphone. Yeah, uh, 25 millimeter lens that I use with it and uh, we're going to put them together. So I've got to take the uh, uh, lens or the back cap off the uh, uh, air and the back cap and lens cap off the 25 millimeter. And once I've done that, then I want to put the or mount the lens onto the the air. So here we're looking and see you see the find the red dot on the lens and that's right there on the side. And then the uh, red dot that's on the Olympus air and that's kind of on the barrel. Match them up and just turn it until they click and you've got yourself a camera with a lens uh, that looks like this one long lens. Uh, I'm going to, for, for demonstrating this now, I'm going to put it, it on that uh, mini uh, Gorilla, uh, Joby Gorilla pod, uh, place it on the table, and then I opened up the uh, uh, lens, the coupler, a smartphone coupler, and I'm placing the phone in, you push the bottom part down, and I'd set it to large for my iPhone 6, uh, it, so you push the bottom part down, the cap down, and, and then fit your phone into the slot and it holds it really firmly. Uh, so you could walk around with this as a camera. Uh, on the top there you push the button until you see the blue light come on. So it's blue because it's not connected to your phone yet. And then you go into your uh, Wi-Fi settings on your smartphone until you and, and find the air. And then you uh, select that. And then you go out. Once you see the selection has been made, then you look at go out and launch the OA Central app. Once this OA Central app's launched, then you launch the app itself, hitting the mode dial, and you can see now what the camera is seeing through the 25 millimeter lens. The chair behind me, or to beside me, and the room behind me. And if you tap on that, any place in the screen, it, it focuses. You can also take the air, the smartphone out of the the air, and this is where you could use an iPad and use it remotely, really. So you just place the air. Um, pointing at something, birds, a lot of people have done that uh, to put it on bird feeders. I'm pointing it at the camera that's taking, this, making this video. And uh, there you see the uh, what the camera sees.